Hi, here's a short video on how to set up Contact in Ableton Live. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Native Access. Download the appropriate file that you're going to run on your computer. Because I have a Windows computer, I've downloaded the one for Windows, installed it, and set it up already. So make sure you download the one for you. When you click on download, you'll have to also probably create an account when you uh, after the download is completed. Um, and for that, you'll just have to enter your email address and uh, activate the product. So once you have it downloaded, yours will not look like mine because you won't have much installed. Um, but it, on the not installed page, you'll have a few options of things to install. The first thing you kind of want to check is to see where these VST, whenever you install a, a, a program, where the VSTs are being installed. So you can click on this little icon up here. It looks like a little person. You can click on Preferences, and the file locations will give you all the default locations where the files will be installed to. For me, I chose a default uh, installation folder on my E drive, whatever hard drive you happen to have, so that all of my VST 64 and 32-bit versions are installed into those folders, so that it's easy for me, and I'll show you this in a second, how to point live to those folders. Otherwise, those VST plugins that you download, like contact player and anything that you install to native access will not be sh will not show up in Ableton Live. So in the on the not, not installed products you'll probably have just a few. Uh, you'll have the contact 7 player uh, and a couple maybe other things as well. So in order to get more uh, plugins in native access, well first of all you want the contact 7 player. So you want the free download. Uh, here's the link. I'll put the links in the description as well uh, as well as the course. So once you download the free contact player, that will show up in native access. It will be one of the things that you can install. If it's not already there as one of the not installed products, it may be there. Once you've downloaded the contact player and installed it, that's contact seven of as of this video, it, it will definitely change in the future. Then the best thing to do is to go through the bundles. I didn't know about this, but complete start is a free bundle that is put out by Native Instruments that gets installed into your native access. So please download this as well. There's a link on the, this is right from the Native Instruments website. Uh, you download Complete Start and that's how you get um, a factory selection library as well as a bunch of other good, cool plugins that you can use with your native access. And they will show up here as well. <coughs> So once you have all those installed and you know exactly what folder your VSTs are pointed to, then you'll want to open up Ableton Live. You'll want to go to Options. You'll want to go to Preferences. And once you're in here, you want to go all the way down to Plugins. And you want to note what folders Ableton Live is pointing to to look for VST plugins. So because again, I install everything to one folder so that everything is now shown in Ableton Live. If you have multiple folders for all your VSTs, Ableton Live cannot f search multiple folders. It can only search one. So the best thing to do, the easiest way to get it all set up that I've found is to install everything into one folder. So I have everything installed into the VST64 uh, or VST32 if you have an older version of Live, but typically most people run 64-bit operating systems now and 64-bit versions of Live. So that's why I use the Ableton VST64 uh, folder. I chose to use the custom folder on, and then I browsed, I clicked this button and browsed to my hard drive where I have uh, the VST plugins. And that happens to be there. And again, that's shown to you. If you go here, you go preferences, yours might be in a different location. So you can just match that VST64 location with what it is in live. So hopefully that helps you get set up with Ableton Live and your plugins, and they should all show up uh, on the side uh, under plugins once you have them installed correctly and pointed to the proper folder. Thank you.